Gaga, today can you answer this question? What's your favorite toy? Here's my favorite toy. This is my favorite toy. Remembers John 14, 6 and 7. Jesus answered, I am the truth and the truth and the what. No one comes up to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and you've seen him. Now let's do the robot. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to your Father except through me. If you know me, then you will know my Father as well. From now on, you know him and you have seen him. Way to go. Let's try Macho. Show me your muscles. Jesus answered, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you know him. You have seen him. Way to go. Lastly, we'll do chipmunk. Good job! Kids oh Discover! It's game time! Are you ready? We're going to do boys versus girls. We're going to play the game Pictionary. So Calvary and Lazarus are going to take turns drawing a picture. You have 30 seconds to make your guess on what you think they're drawing. Boys, you comment below with your guesses for Lazarus. Girls, you comment below with your guesses for Calvary. We'll see which team wins.
Here's a bonus round. Jubilee's going to draw the last picture. This picture is worth 10 million thousand hundred million points. So make sure you are the first one to comment. God wants everyone to know Jesus. Hey kids discovered. Can you tell what I'm doing? I'm camping. And camping has a lot to do with our two friends that we talk about today, Paul and Barnabas. They were missionaries. And as missionaries, they helped with the very first church. Just like the Holy Spirit gives us power to be witnesses, the fire does the same thing. Have you ever thought about it? The fire has a flame start with something really small but then it gets stronger and stronger warmer and warmer hotter and hotter and it's like its own little power source we can use to cook meals stay warm roast marshmallows the first church was guided by the Holy Spirit the Church of Antioch was the first church where they called After Jesus went back to heaven, God sent the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. The Holy Spirit gave Jesus' friends power to be witnesses for Jesus, just like a fire at a campsite. It feels like a warm glow. It starts small, but then as the flame gets bigger, the power grows. The Holy Spirit is like a fire inside of us. He gives us power to be witnesses. The church in Jerusalem grew and grew till there were thousands of people following Jesus. But then trouble started. Powerful religious leaders did not believe in Jesus and they began to make trouble. They killed a deacon named Stephen, do you guys remember that? And arrested many others who loved to follow Jesus. Saul, later known as Paul, was a leader in harming Jesus' followers. Many of Jesus' followers moved to nearby cities where they told people about Jesus and everywhere they went, they were witnesses and starting new churches. Hmm. I have a lot of campsites around me, and there's lots of different tents and campers, and they're all kind of like little churches. God used this problem in Jerusalem to spread the good news of Jesus to many new places. God can always bring good from bad things. In fact, that's how the church of Antioch began. Antioch was one of the biggest cities in the ancient world, and because so many people from different nations lived in Antioch, it was the perfect place for God to spread the good news of his love to lots of people. But this church was different. The Bible says that those who went to Antioch began to speak to Greeks also, telling them the good news about the Lord Jesus. The Lord's hand was with them. A great number of people believed and turned to the Lord. Greeks were Gentiles and Gentiles are anyone that's not born Jewish. At Antioch, the church started with some people that were not Jewish. And this is a big change. Who does God want to know him? Kind of a trick question, huh? But this is our ponder point. God wants everyone to know him. God wants both the Jew and Gentile, which is anyone who's not Jewish, to know him. Because there was such an exciting, growing church in Antioch, the church in Jerusalem sent someone to help them. They sent Barnabas to lead the new church. When Barnabas arrived to Antioch, he was really excited. He saw large numbers of new believers, Jewish and Gentile. The Bible says that when Barnabas arrived, he saw what the grace of God had done, and he was glad. Barnabas wanted someone to help him teach and lead the new church in Antioch. 
so he made a shocking choice. Barnabas decided to get Saul to help him. He chose the man who had chased Jesus' friends out of Jerusalem. But Saul was no longer an enemy of Jesus' friends. Now he loved Jesus too. Barnabas and Saul stayed in the new church for one whole year, teaching and spreading the good news, leading the new church. The people of Antioch watched the new church, and they saw that the people in the church loved Jesus and tried to act like him. The people of Antioch called the people a name that we use today. That name is Christian. It's a word that means follower of Christ. Antioch was the first place that Jesus' followers were called Christians. When our story started, the Jerusalem church was our first church. When Jesus' followers left Jerusalem, they started churches in many different places, just like these campers and tents all over. The church of Antioch was one of those churches, but soon it became like the Jerusalem church. Just like the Jerusalem church started many other churches, so the church of Antioch began to start new churches too. The Holy Spirit chose Barnabas and Saul to become the first missionaries. Soon Barnabas and Saul left Antioch so that they could tell the good news of Jesus to people in many other different places. At each place, Barnabas and Saul told people about Jesus and started churches. They traveled from city to city. Sometimes you can camp from city to city, preaching and praying for sick people who were miraculously healed, leading people to Jesus and starting churches. Barnabas and Saul obeyed our ponder point. What is it? God wants everyone to know Jesus. Just as the Christians in Jerusalem and Christians in Antioch helped tell everyone about Jesus, God wants us to help tell everyone about Jesus. God wants us, as members of the church, to be his hands and feet to the world in all of our campsites. He wants us to be his witnesses, to show both his love and tell the good news of Jesus. He wants to fill us with his Holy Spirit, just like that fire so other people will become Christians also. God wants all people to know him, and he wants to use you and I to show his love to the world. Here's your blessing for today. May you know Jesus as your savior. May God spirit, empowering to tell others about Jesus' love for them. I love you kids discover. See you next week.